Um, and it's real. It's real in the heart of Brian <laughs> that there is such a community out mm-hmm. there where, uh, you know, fat guys uh, deserve respect. They they get together. It's a community. It's like a Facebook uh, group, but, 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 you know, stronger than that. You know, they meet in person. And, and to be part of this group is, is such an honor if you're a heavy set person. And uh, to be kicked out of this group is, is, uh, is, is you might as well just do those things that Japanese people do when you shame the family. You get that sword and you just fall on it. That, that's what happens if you get kicked off the Husky Boy community. Brian, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Hello, Husky Boss in the house. <laughs> that's what they call us. Listen to Husky it. Boss in the hazy, whatever. <laughs> Good try. Good try. Husky Brian. He's going to get a stripe just on his Just for eyebrow. stats, though. Yeah. Yeah, just for stats, but how how big are you, sir? Oh, okay. Um, I'm five six and a half, and I'm 260 and pounds. What up? <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> what up? That's Your LeBron weight. James. Yeah, I love... I lo- See, that's what makes Brian awesome is, I'm 5'6", 260, yeah! <laughs> like, like that's awesome. You know, uh, and that's great, man. That's confidence, buddy. You carry it well. How are things going on in the Husky Boy community? I see you on Twitter. You can follow him, by the way. His uh, Twitter name is Husky Bry. That's H-U-S-K-Y Bry, B-R-Y. A lot of followers now for you, Brian, uh, since you've been on the show, yes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Famous, who cares? You know. <laughs> uh, and the Husky Boy community doing good. Uh, uh, I think this was two nights ago. Someone tweeted me. Brian, I'm a fat guy. Mm. I don't know where to buy clothes. Uh, stores here in the Philippines, they, they sell uh, Asian petite, size. yeah, Asian size. So <laughs> they, they start asking me for advice now. I think the community's doing pretty well, getting pretty big, so to say. <laughs> and you're just waiting now for Erich Gonzalez to any moment just barge into your room and have at you. Yes. Yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard, wow. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> excited. Hey, you know today is National Cheeseburger Day as well. Is it? Yeah. No. Oh, it is. Oh yeah. How fitting. How fitting September that you're here. Today. How do you not know that, Brian? Yeah. Uh, what the? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's. I'm more uh, baby back ribs day. It's my big day, Saturday, Brian. All right. Um, was, uh, uh, the, the cheeseburger day is for um, non-fat people because every day is I'm cheeseburger sorry. day. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yes. good That's job. how you say it. Brian what up? takes it seriously. What up? <laughs> yeah, Husky Brian here on the show now. Uh, Brian, how about this? Since you said, while, while you do your little jag here and yep. you kick out people and get people in your Husky Boy community, why don't we take some calls or at least put some calls on hold if you're a fat guy, you know, and, and you just questions. like Brian did for you, you know, you have questions, you need some advice, man. You're having a hard time at school, man. People are bullying you. You need, you need a size for that for that shirt. You need you have a love problem that only a fat guy can answer. Brian's here for you. 631-0899. Mm-hmm. Uh, Husky Boy uh, Problems. Call the show. And in the meantime, while we wait for you and we put you on hold, hey, uh, Brian, you ready to do your stuff? Yes. Okay, I have news for everyone. I'm not uh, I'm not um, picking on celebrities today. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this edition of Husky Boy, um, this thing, uh, we'll talk about something really, really serious later. I'll announce it. It's, oh. it's a wow. very, very serious crime committed oh. against the Husky Boy community. What? So, pero before we get serious, let's And go. it's real. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This up. It's a real crime. Yes, real, real crime. Promise. Okay. <laughs> so, but first, okay. before we get well, why don't we start with the good news first? Yeah, before yeah. we get too serious, uh, we have Husky Boy News right now. Um, y- y- Kanina, you were talking about your celebrity news about uh, si Casey Concepcion last year breaking mm-hmm. up with Piolo. Uh-huh. Uh, they won't tell why, but we're saying it's because of... We think it's something gay, though. <laughs> Pero... <laughs> But that's not the You're point. You're celebrity. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the point. Uh, Casey has a new boyfriend now. French oh, guy. Oh. Yes, yes, I heard about this. Non-showbiz. Non, well. Parang. How does non-showbiz. Husky Boy at the Shawi feel about this? Here's the news. <laughs> oh, Hall of Famer. Okay. Sharon, Conetta, Sharon Conetta was interviewed regarding Casey's new boyfriend. Uh, yung guy pala is a French photographer and filmmaker. His name is, how do I say it in French ba? Pierre Emmanuel Plazard? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, that sounds like, yeah, with a, yeah. Sounds like a dessert to you, but yeah. Pierre Emmanuel Plazard. I'll That's right. Two? Yeah, Pierre Emmanuel. Right. So Sharon Palau was you know, interviewed, uh, uh, and Sharon assured that this time, Casey's current boyfriend is a, I don't, I, I'm quoting this, a real man. And in yes. her words, lalaking, lalaking. Yes. Whoa. in her words, and I quote again, lalaking lalaki, <gasps> hindi po siya babae. No! Wow. Oh, words by Sharon. 
<laughs> Sharon attacking like a woolly mammoth. Just, 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, strong words. Strong words indeed. So it looks like the secret reason behind the breakup of Casey and ex-boyfriend Piola Pasquale is finally out of the closet, so to speak. <laughs> well, you know, Sharon's got balls See of steel. See what you do there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, she does. Sharon's got balls of the- Bigger steel. Bigger than Piolas. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. Stop it. In the figurative sense, of course. <laughs> Just as a true husky boy should have. So we're happy to have you, Tita, shall we? You are um, awesome. Balls of steel. Thank you. Great news, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Husky. Husky. And, 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 and listen, uh, we bring up Sharon a lot here in the Husky Boy community. And being part of the Husky community, she must be the Lone Hall of Famer, like the, like the top of the food chain. At top of the food chain for the female division, male division, um, blank right now because Kim Jong-il died last wow. year. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, we'll move on from him. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Give, give me a Husky Boy of the Week. Husky I mean, boy like, of if, the if, week. If, 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 yeah, if yeah. you're going to applaud Sharon for her, for her mouth, um, not just what goes in, but what goes out, how about Husky Boy of the Week? What's going on? Okay, we have Husky Boy of the Week right now. Um, and Husky Boy of the Week is none other than Mr. Gangnam Style, Psy <laughs> of South oh. Korea. <laughs> wow. Guy, become- wow, that's right. Okay. Bilang super duper famous, this guy. He can sing, he can dance. I don't know what he's singing about, but well, his his YouTube video Gangnam Style has now have a quarter of a billion hits on YouTube, oh. and just overnight, no, many nights I think. <laughs> Bilang international superstars. Whatever. He was in Ellen. Yeah, in Ellen, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he's selling out shows in Korea, and he's planning on a tour soon. I don't know world tour, but we'll watch, we'll watch, we'll watch that. We'll watch after that. Out for that? Oh. So, what, oh. wait, wait. Yeah. If, if I may ask you, though, Husky Brian, if I may ask, what, I mean, aside from him being a superstar and being a fat guy and, and you know, this Gangnam style taking over, like, what are some of the qualities you like about Sai? Okay, Sai is Husky Boy of the Week. This week, because he uplifts the Husky spirit. He is not ashamed. In fact, he is proud to be on the Chubby Zone. And he gives due recognition to the talents of the community. Okay, listen to this. Sai is both chubby and agile. A very rare, formidable <laughs> combination. Last seen in the guise of Jack Black, Noli mm-hmm. Loxin, and Rainer Shine's <laughs> Bo Belga. <laughs> and a lot of people well, love Rainer yeah, Shine. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. No, 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 fast. Fat, but fast. Okay. Oh my That's God. right. He has brought fame and acclaim not only to the Korean people, but to every fat person in the world. And just with that video, overnight, he made South Korea the best Korea. Yay! <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. So thank because you, Sai. Of course, you lost your, you lost your Kim Jong-il. That's right. So South Korea is even better now. Yes. All right. Thank you, Sai. You are doing the Lord's work. Lard's work. Lard's work. Everybody say the Lard. Lard. Praise the Lard. <laughs> Praise the Lard. Wow. The Lard. It is, and this is decided by the food court, yes? Uh, yes. <laughs> Always the food yeah. court. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's go on. What else? Let's get Medjo serious right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, not the biggest news of the day, but pretty serious. Let's cut right through it. Um, the Husky Boy community is filing a lawsuit against Whoa. Adobe oh, no. Photoshop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, really? <laughs> not pala, sorry, not Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Systems. Okay. American brand okay, responsible right. responsible for the monster that is Adobe Photoshop. Uh, for those of you who do not know what Photoshop is, it is a digital software used for photo manipulation, uh, photo correction on mm-hmm. colors, whatever in the photo. General photo repairing, editing. Uh, Photoshop is highly So why used. would you why yeah. would you sue them? I'll get to that. Photoshop is highly used in print advertising, mainly on the erasure of skin blemishes, correction of unwanted elements in the photograph, and most heavily on making people appear thinner than they actually are. Well, in other ah, words, yes. oh, Adobe Photoshop likes making people not look fat. Why? Because fat... Oh, how dare they? According to them and society, fat is ugly. Oh, that's Aww. so sad. And so with that, uh, what up? <laughs> 260, what's up? What up? <laughs> uh, Sorry, continue. 
Explain ko paano siya nakaka-hurt. So you're filing this lawsuit. Okay, wait. He's explaining yeah. something. Uh, kasi, uh, okay. parang, kung nga rin, let's Cut say, music, Sharon Conetta, I guess, she's fatter than she actually is, but we saw her on the billboard, parang, come on, man. You're lying to yourself. They did it to your idol. Yeah, yeah they and did so it to your that. freaking top of the food chain, man. How dare they, right? Yeah, how dare they. And with making people not look fat, uh, they take away members from the community. It's sad. It's sad. They lie to the people, and they make people lie about themselves. Uh, <laughs> but oh, you no. may say that Photoshop, though, isn't what's evil. It's, society is. Uh, well, that Photoshop is merely a tool used by society. But it is hard to correct society. So it is better to take away the tool because if you take away the tool, you get the repairman out of business. So, cutting through the chase, we're filing a lawsuit against Adobe Systems on the grounds that it deprives fat people from the basic rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I have a really good lawyer, Anton. Yeah, can you help me with this? Yeah, sure, sure. He drew up something for me as well. Is he the is he the guy who calls up the show? Yeah, that one, that oh. one. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. So see you in court, you say to Adobe, <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes. Uh, but let me explain how it deprives life. Can I? Yes, Liberty of and pursuit. Of yeah. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. deprives us of life because we fat people will have to live the rest of our lives thinking that being fat is equal to being ugly. And mm-hmm. it deprives us of liberty because Adobe Photoshop is the prison guard that keeps us locked up in our prison cells for what crime again? For being fat. And the pursuit of happiness is mm, how. And when you said you want a lot of violence in the world these days, based on this topic alone. So be sensitive, sir. Be careful. Okay, I think sobrang serious tong issue na to for the Husky Boy community. I think the whole world pala. So. Uh, you know about the recent rallies and the mga violent protests uh, in Lebanon, Syria. Mm-hmm. Because of that, ano, yung amateur is anti-Islam video na produce sa uh, US, di ba? Mm-hmm. So the Muslims right now, mm-hmm. they're pretty pissed. Uh, at uh, and the mga Middle Eastern countries, there are a lot of protesters and they're really pissed with the US. Mm-hmm. And they're burning stuff down. They're bombing US embassies, killing ambassadors, you know, the whole shebang. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah very sad. Sad indeed committee does not care about that and that's not the issue i want to deal with but we but we do care about this we do care about this so listen to the next few words carefully husky boys and i dare you all of you after i say this look at me in the eye and tell me you don't feel offended or violated so listen close Lebanese and Tunisian protesters are now burning down and ransacking American fast food restaurants. More prominently, they burnt down a KFC. Kentucky oh my God. freaking fried chicken. <laughs> KFC? <laughs> KFC, sorry. Now, did you feel a part of your soul just die there for one second? That's right. You know, imagine this. It's like burning down an orphanage. Lay down the flag. Wait, 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 wait. All of those combined. <laughs> Imagine children in it, oh, and you God. see the. This is worse. Yeah, so wait, you're saying K- burning down a KFC is worse than burning down an orphanage with children in it? Precisely. From the words of Husky Bride. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Imagine that. Sorry, the, yes. Imagine that All orphanage right. in flames, and so imagine that KFC Stop. in flames, and it's bleeding. It's <laughs> bleeding gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it feels like a murder of a close loved one, basically. It's murder, and okay. I want to say that this act. What are you guys gonna do about it? Um, hang on. <laughs> I want to say this act of violence is not just an attack on America, but an even bigger attack against fat people of all races, <laughs> nations, and religions. We're going international okay? now. Oh, international, no. baby. <laughs> so the Husky Boy so Council has decided to issue. Listen closely, a travel ban to Lebanon and Tunisia applicable to all fat people. Can't go there, oh travel ban. Yeah, right. You boy. know how many fat guys right now are on their way? They were on their way. They're taking the next flight. <laughs> Manila, Lebanon, Manila, Tunisia. <laughs> and right now, that uh, travel ban. A bunch of, bunch of sad fat guys at the, at the airport right now, all sad faced. <laughs> oh. All sad faced. So there's nothing left With for them most. there. No KFC, That's no right. fast food. What are you going to do there? The no reason. No, <laughs> <laughs> no reason. 
So we also are going to issue a strong warning to Sudan, Yemen, Egypt, Bahrain, Iraq, and nations alike that are planning to burn down more fast food restaurants mm-hmm. in their own countries. And uh, listen to this, the, the, those countries, Sudan, Yemen, blah, blah, blah. Listen to me. If you follow Lebanon and Tunisia, we, we shall issue a travel ban in your countries as well. Okay? So, oh. <laughs> strong warning, guys. Pero, <laughs> Toto, uh, take note of this. Uh, very, very important. Listen to what I have to say. Take note that this is not a war against the Muslims. I repeat again. Okay. This is not a war against the Muslims. We shall refer to the enemy not as Muslims, but as Slims. This <laughs> Slims. Slims. <laughs> this is a war. Oh God, took, took, this is a war took against the, the Slims. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Slims. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can I address my husky okay. voice? <laughs> Brian, before you get shot, uh... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, please. Continue. This is a war against the Slims. Citizens of Huskiesburg, I ask you now to prepare for war. That's it. Uh, before we let you go, Brian, and your Husky Boy community, you always kind of put someone on the Husky Watch. Who's on your radar these days that maybe a celebrity, a person of interest, uh, they just have to gain a few more pounds, and then they're going to be in the Husky Boy community. Who's on your radar right now? Okay, in my radar, not on the script, not planning to do this, pero since you asked, okay, let me think for a while. No script, pl- I don't need the script, eh, right? I don't need the script. Hola. Yeah, those papers that he turns the pages while reading, I didn't hear any of that. Yeah, yeah, who's on the watch? Okay, <laughs> Husky Watch of the Week. I'm sorry, Aramina. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she in the community already? I mean, like, really? She's on the watch list? How much bigger does she have to get? <laughs> uh, a few more cheese. What, what are the what are the what are the Huskies like about Aramina? Because we haven't had the no. Um, well, Tagalan namin walang sexy celebrity sa group eh, so we can't wait to have her. Uh, cheeseburger, she, she, cheeseburger day today, <laughs> diba? Yes, it is today. Head over to a McDonald's or something. Can I say yeah, that? There you go. So, yeah, today. Today. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Brian, thanks for being here and updating us well, wait, on uh, all the. Uh, okay. And, Mo, I'm sorry. Yeah, go. I have, I have. No worries. Hindi tayo masadong sad. Oh. I have uh, a husky, uh, a, a husky boy coat of the week. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh. Uh, and here to share the husky boy coat of the week, reading an excerpt from his own book, The Analects of Fat Confucius. Everybody, welcome, Fat Confucius. Hello, hey, Fat Confucius. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Taken from Analect number 317. <laughs> Fat boy who sleep with itchy butt wake up with smelly finger. <coughs> Fat boy who sleep with itchy butt wake up with smelly finger. Thank you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Great, Thanks, great advice. Confusion. Brian, you Back. are... You are heaven sent to the fat community, buddy. We appreciate all the people that you uh, highlight every other few weeks when you get on the show. And thanks for being here, man. That was that was good Thank stuff. You. And uh, I'm sure uh, Aramina will uh, probably be on the community uh, come next uh, next time we see you. And uh, we'll see who's going to be kicked off of the community. Yes, yes. Husky boss right, out. Brian. Hey, you can follow. You can follow Husky Brian on Twitter, twitter.com slash Husky Bry. It is uh, 729. We'll take a commercial break. When you come back, some topics to discuss. And we're going to need your phone calls at 631-0899. Good, don't go away. Back after this. Good times. Good morning. Good times. Live in New York. Mo Twister. With Susie and Mia in the Philippines.